I'm Kayla with Service Star Realty. Today we're going to talk about inspections and whether to perform them when your property is occupied or vacant. Inspecting a property is an important part of owning an investment property. As professional Phoenix property managers, we prefer to conduct inspections when the property is vacant. However, it's not an either or situation. You'll need to complete inspections both when the tenants are in place as well as when the property is vacant. This really just all depends on your reason for the inspection. During a move in or a move out inspection, the property should be empty. You'll want to inspect every detail and document the home's condition. During the course of the lease, you will want to inspect at least once to make sure that the tenant is following the terms set forth in your lease agreement. Today, we're talking about what to look for during each inspection and how to make the more efficient, um, whether the property is vacant or occupied. Move in and move out inspections. During turnovers, you'll want a vacant property to effectively inspect it. You want to be able to see everything, including the carpet stain that that couch was covering or the torn window screen hiding behind that heavy curtain. It might seem like a good idea to get inside the home before the tenant moves out so that you can get an idea of how much work will be needed to get it ready for the next tenant. It's rare that you're gonna be able to see everything you need to see. You might think that everything looks great, and then after the tenant moves out and takes all their belongings with them, you notice that there's at least a month's worth of work necessary to make it ready. That disrupts your timeline for the turnover. Um, and during your move in and move out inspections to everything, check everything from the condition of the doors to whether the windows lock. Um, you wanna inspect the walls, the floors, the ceilings, the doors, um, document everything and the and its condition with a video. Checklists are great, pictures are helpful too, but with video, it has everything you need real time and it can't be disputed. Inspecting an occupied property. Tenants are entitled to their privacy and quiet enjoyment of their rental property. However, you want to get inside at least once during the lease period to ensure it's being well maintained. Make sure to give them plenty of notice when you're ready to inspect. We like the three month mark because it allows you to quickly notice whether there are signs of abuse, neglect, or just deterioration on your property. It's not too late to save your property and address the potential issues. During the inspection, look for any unreported maintenance issues. Check under the sinks for leaks. Make sure that the electricity and all the outlets are working. Test the toilets, the tubs, and all of your appliances. If there's something that needs to be repaired, schedule the work right away. You'll also want to check for potential lease violations. Look for signs of unauthorized residents or unauthorized pets. Um, address anything that is prohibited by your rental agreement, such as smoking in the home or overgrown weeds in the yard. Make sure that the home is clean and free of pests, rodents. Look for indications that the air filters are being changed regularly. If you need help planning your com or completing your rental inspection, please contact us, Service Star Realty. We would be happy to provide any additional advice and resources.